we are seeing 10 best ways to keep ourselves happy. In our previous video, we have seen help each other, feed animals and wait and get. In this video, we are going to see be independent, be organized and listen to your body. Being independent. Being independent gives you more confidence and helps you to learn better and others will gain trust and respect on you. I know being kids we have some limitations to be independent due to safety. We can be independent in small things also. I am going to share with you all 4 scenarios where we can be independent. After having online classes and most of our parents are working, you can help by being independent to your parents like when your mom is serving you can just take plates water etc and after eating you can just clean the place this might be a small thing but makes you a responsible person choose your dress you want to wear for the next day and keep books notes and other stationeries for your online class you log in yourself and do your homeworks and upload them on time. You may face some issues like network issue or some other issues while you are uploading your work. You may need to learn small small things to fix them. Learn it and do it yourself. You can be independent by just asking queries. Be attentive in your classes and ask queries then and there. This might reduce your parents task too. Just ask them queries when it's so essential. I have shared my previous video can a kid fly alone in the description box. I believe this motivates you to be independent. Finally, the being independent makes you and your family proud organized being organized is all about planning for example let's take the country japan after hiroshima nagasaki tragedy there was no hope but how fastly japan proved its ability and grown much faster you know the key factor of the success yes it's planning they spent 80 percentage of their time in planning and 20 percentage of their time in doing it. So planning is so important. Simple example to be organized is your kitchen. Go to the kitchen and see how your mom has kept the thing that she can recall where it is and take it easily. Another best example is the wardroom. Just imagine if your wardroom is not organized how hectic it will be to select a dress. Same applies to your life. So plan it nicely and enjoy it. I encourage you to set a small small goals and work for it and apply your daily routine and follow it. Put the things on their places after you use them. I have shared my daily routine in my previous video. It's again it's there in the description box. I hope it will be helpful for you. Listen to your body. How many of you know that our body can speak with us? Yes, they do. Like when you are sick, they request you to take rest. When you are need energy, they send message to have food. Screen time increases, it wants you to give rest to your eyes. And when you do exercise, it shows gratitude by releasing happy hormones. Many more messages which we need to hear and respect. We can also speak with them by just thanking them for their continuous effect. Ask them to take good care and give proper rest. Here are some for your reference. Do yoga or exercise daily for a fruit day in a week. In that day, you just have to eat fruits. Mobile day once in a week. Water fasting in a while. In that day, you only need to drink water, no food. Eat only healthy food. On cheat days, you can feed your taste buds. 